I'm Chad Hoover, Kayak Bass and TV. We're here in the Mustad booth, iCast 2012. I'm with Jeff Pierce, or most of you know him as Dr. Fish. He's gonna tell us about three new grip pants from Mustad and why you should use them, and any of the other new developments available from Mustad for next fishing season, actually later this fishing season, right? Right this cool. season. So here's the three grip pants. Jeff's gonna tell you why you should get them. So the big deal, one of the problems you have with soft plastics, I'm what we call plastic impaired. I occasionally miss a fish. When you come out of your shoes on a hook set and you miss them, your plastic's balled up the bottom of the hook, you gotta reel it in. With the grip pins, you see this little pin right here. As hard as I wanna pull on this plastic, it will not slide down the shank. So if you come out of your shoes on a hook set and miss them, leave it there. If he didn't feel the hook, he's gonna come back. A little more confidence, nothing happened that first time, and then you cross his eyes the second time because you know it's gonna be rigged right. This is the Grip Pin Max. This is your flipping, pitching, punching, heavy wire hook, pulling big fish out of heavy cover. Denny has been known to catch a 10 pound bass and a 15 pound tree at the same time. You can pull it out with this hook. That's a bass and a stick roll in yes. the south. It's at, a stick roll. Stick roll, stick I roll. like that. Yeah. Nice. I do too. I should trademark that. We have two other Grip Pin hooks as well. For those of you that love to fish soft plastic jerk baits in that, or tubes, We've got, in here it says Grip Pin Big Mouth, but it's actually the KBD Grip Pin as it's gonna be known at retail. This is a great wide gap hook for rigging all kinds of plastics, but this is my favorite for throwing soft plastic jerk baits. Denny loves it for tubes. Now, you wanna talk finesse, you wanna talk drop shotting, you wanna talk 20 feet of crystal clear water light line. We go down to the brand new Grip Pin Edge. We literally just developed this hook about three weeks ago. Light line, you can't have a real powerful hook set. Light, small wire hooks go in easy. Our guys were saying this is the needle nose hook because every time you get the fish to the boat, you need a pair of needle nose pliers to get them out. That's how hard they're hooked. Well, speaking of needle nose pliers, you guys have a new product this year, right? We That's do. It's going to help you get those hooks out. We do. We have so, a whole what is series. that? We That's have a whole series of KVD branded tools now. We've got two really nice aluminum pliers cutters on them, replaceable cutters, so after you cut about a thousand pieces of line, you can put a new set of cutters on there if you need to. We also have a new braid scissor, which is also a split ring plier, because those of you who buy baits know, not all the lure companies put the best hooks on there. They're trying to keep the price down to the consumer. Well, then you can run out, get yourself some KVD round bends, some KVD triple grips, and put the right okay, hooks stop. on there. Most of you know, if you've watched the show, that I use one of KVD's hooks, one of the one of the really nice round bend trebles to demonstrate how to remove a hook from your leg. Now, I'm a big fan of the triple grips most of the time. So tell us if you have anything coming or if there's anything new, or for the guys out there that are really, really die hard round bend treble hook fishermen, what you have available for 2012, what you have coming for 2013, or what you've improved upon. Anything to talk about there? Yeah, what we did is we actually came out with a, uh, a new treble, the TR-78. So this is the same wire diameter as the TG-76, the original KVD. So this is 1X strong, so you can pull hard on a fish, but it's the standard shank length. So if you're not fishing a square bill or a lipless crankbait, you're throwing a jerk bait or a standard crankbait, and you're not a fan of triple grips, this is the round bend. And I don't care if you're fishing smallies on Erie or we were catching 40 pound redfish in the marsh when we were testing these hooks this past fall. Pull as hard as you want on them, nice and strong. And you know, for some reason there's guys that don't like those triple grips. And for those of you that don't, we'll continue to beat you in the tournament. You know what I think it is, <laughs> is I think that that round bend's a little more open. So there's this perception that it's gonna give you a better hookup ratio. I think it's gonna give you a better face hookup ratio and a better foul hook hookup ratio. But in the winter time, when the fish are really halfing, half-assing it. We can say assing on You sure can we say can. that too. Yeah, we so can. when they're kind of half-assing it and they're not really committing to it, that round bend psychologically makes a lot of guys think they're gonna catch fish. It works for me, so I switch them out. And I, I can probably demonstrate sticking this one in my leg too oh, later on in another part. episode and pulling it out. But uh, <laughs> check out the Mustad. I'll tell you what, tell them where they can find out more information about Mustad. You can go to the Mustad Facebook page, which is Mustad Hooks. And you can also go to the Mustad website, which is www.mustad.no, because it's based in Norway. Check it out. That's not no, that's Norway. Dr. Fish, Chad Hoover, Kayak Bassin, sir, thank you much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Go get you some Mustad. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.